Hello everyone, this is Ming Zhong. Welcome to today's market analysis for the S&P 500 E-Minutes Futures that's for the session of 23rd of July. So in this video, I am going to show you the market recap uh, on the last session plus a trade review in the entry time frame which I will cover the entry, exit and the rationale behind. And that trade actually initiated during the London session and I actually held through uh, the US session and the trade setup was actually based on a trend reversal which I will elaborate a bit more on the ways to detect and also confirm the trend changes in the later part of my video so going forwards I will cover the bias key levels and also potential setup for the session later all right so let's just get started um, as we can see in this daily chart for the S&P 500 uh, we can see that yesterday was a bullish day here. So we have a kind of like a test of this uh, resistant turn support level at 3230 level, uh, which is um, this orange line here. Um, and also I think the volume uh, was relatively decent. And subsequently we closed near the high, although it's still slightly uh, less than the swing high generated on this bar here. And let me just get down to the H1 time frame so that we can have a clearer look here. So if you recall in my video uh, yesterday, I do talk about a potential long entry uh, should a reaction happen. And the levels that I was looking at uh, actually was this 3230 level, uh, which is this orange line here. So as you can suspect, I did initiate a trade somewhere around here based on this kind of the reversal here. So that is the reversal trade that I took and I will walk through um, the ways to detect the changes and also how I actually confirm the reversal trade uh, in M3 time frame later on. Uh, but first of all, let me just uh, take a look at this uh, H1 chart here. So we can see that um, just prior to the US market opening that's here on this bar, 9.30 my time, and we have seen some kind of the uh, bit of a move up here, and we have seen some sell down here. Uh, that's probably around 12 o'clock and to the London session. I think that's pretty much uh, reacted to the the news uh, the, regarding the China embassy in the Houston. But uh, anyway, uh, it's just a temporary uh, sell off. In fact, it's just a, like a test of this support area here and then followed by this hammer bar and then subsequently we have a rally consolidation and then we have a last hour push up here. And you can see that currently it's kind of like uh, having a, a breakout on this bar and is ready to trend higher and is on its way to test the next target level. All right, so everything looks uh, relatively bullish here. Uh, it's nothing unusual. And in terms of the volume is pretty decent. And you, if you take a look here, I have already um, drawn up a new channel, uh, which is a relatively uh, shorter, shorter duration and time frame. I think I space on the uh, H4 four hour time frame here. So pretty much I think uh, if we can move uh, within this trend channel, then I think we will on the way, uh, we'll see the S&P on its way to test 3300 or 3310 or even more, you can just uh, have this kind of the overthrow overboard maybe into the about 3340 level, just uh, fit nicely into the previous uh, gap generated uh, way before. So you can see that that is uh, actual gap here. Anyway, I will just uh, talk more about uh, the current uh, development in the latest part of the video. But first of all, let me just uh, get down to the M3 timeframe for a trade review. So one thing that I would like to do in this uh, trade review is actually to walk through in a bit more detail on how I actually uh, trade the trend reversal uh, and how I actually detect there is a change 
and how to actually confirm uh, the change is real, uh, not some kind of the continuation to the downside or uh, some kind of the fake uh, breakout, things like that. So let me just uh, zoom into this uh, M3 timeframe. So you can see that uh, I did talk about the potential long level near 323230 level, uh, which is a pretty uh, decent level. I think it's quite a textbook style. So if you just uh, let me get back to maybe H, H4 time frame. So you will see that why that 3230 level is kind of like a textbook style level. So you can see that we have a big trading range here. So this is the big trading range generated. And after we have broken out here, and yesterday we have come back to test this support level at 3230. And subsequently we just bounce up here. So you see that this is kind of like breakout, um, pullback, and then continuation. So yesterday action was just a test of this, uh, I will say is a resistant turn support level. So because once you broke out, then it become a support level. So it's just a very uh, kind of like textbook style trade. But anyway, uh, let me just uh, get back to the entry level, uh, entry time frame and explain a bit more why so first of all uh, for a trend reversal uh, i want to see the prior trend so what's the prior trend here so you can see that i have kind of like uh, marked down this uh, downtrend in the entry time frame so this is the prior trend so basically we have this kind of the downtrend and we have just one swing down followed by a rally, another swing down followed by a rally, and then the third swing down. So what happens here? So first of all, I detected that there is kind of like the down wave get shortened. So you see that this is the down wave, it gets shortened. Uh, this first down wave, second down wave, third down wave got shortened. And in terms of the trust, so that is the actually the progress uh, that we have seen. So first we have seen this kind of uh, the trust. Actually, we have one more here. So we have this kind of the progress. There's a downward trust, and then we have another downward trust here, and then we have a third downward trust here. So it's kind of like uh, getting shorter and shorter as well. And another easy way that uh, you can do is maybe just drawing this kind of the wage. So it's pretty much, you can tell this is a descending wage, which is a bullish in nature, but the real reason behind or the first principle behind is actually we have a shorten of the down wave together with the downward trust. So it suggests that the momentum to the downside was exhausted. So in this case, it actually happened uh, at an important level, which I actually anticipate some kind of the price interaction and the price will actually uh, react uh, on this level, 3230. So what did it do? In fact, uh, we have seen that we have a rally up here. So this is what we actually uh, anticipated. You can see that um, the, down, the down move or the downtrend has uh, been exhausted and that's followed by a strong rally up. So this is kind of like a sign of strength rally. And it is the best rally that we have ever seen. So you see that there's an up wave, up wave, or if you want, you can even compare this up wave. So this sign of strength rally up wave is definitely one of the best rally that we have ever seen from this down wave. So that is the kind of like uh, the first confirmation of this uh, trend reversal and if you want you can take this uh, breakout of this trend line uh, the downtrend line as a first confirmation and then the second confirmation is actually this kind of the best uh, rally that we have ever seen and the third confirmation uh, is actually the shallow uh, reaction so every time if we have if we are still in this downtrend we definitely expect this kind of the uh, down move down wave so at least with this kind of the magnitude. So this is the shortest 
uh, down wave that we have ever seen compare it to uh, the downtrend uh, that we have seen here. So you can see that this is the down wave that we have uh, seen within this uh, downtrend uh, down, down channel here. But uh, just compare uh, the previous down wave that this reaction is actually relatively shallow. So that is the, uh, the third confirmation. And in order for this to come true, then definitely we will need to see a reversal uh, pattern, which is uh, this reversal bar here. So you can see that uh, this is the third uh, confirmation because the reaction, the shallow reaction was actually confirmed by this uh, reversal bar. So there you go, that's the three confirmation. First is just a breakdown of this downtrend line. Second, that is the best rally that we have ever seen. And then third is actually the shallow reaction that we have ever seen. And that's confirmed by this uh, reversal bar here. So you can expect that. That is my entry here, uh, just after the close of this bar and then uh, stop just a few points below the swing low here. All right, so uh, this is uh, the trade that uh, I enter and the first uh, exit or the scale out of partial of my trade actually happened somewhere around here. So basically I just uh, lock in some profit uh, at a swing high level. So you can see that this is a run up. There's a swing high, second test, and kind of like this is a third test. So I just uh, took out some profit there to lock in the, my profit and then leave partial of my positions uh, until the US opening. So the, the rest of my positions was actually exited here. Okay, you can see that I have kind of like marked up with this uh, golden circle here. So why this location? If you just draw a line here, so you can see that this is pretty much the uh, swing high level. So basically I just uh, exited there and get a reward to risk ratio around three. And then the previous I think is about maybe one or 1 1.2, something like that. Yeah, 1.3. So not too shabby in terms of the reward to risk ratio. A relatively good trade to me and let me just uh slide here okay so you can see that if we were to uh, stay through the us session i think um there's possible one more trade here so this is a uh, maybe a possible trade uh because it's it's kind of like well it happened kind of in the middle uh, definitely not uh, near 3230, but I think it's still tradable. Why? Because you can see that um, first of all, we have this kind of the rally and then followed by the reaction. And then we have another reaction here and then followed by this third reaction. So what's so special about the reaction? Uh, let me just zoom into this chart here and pay attention to the second and third reaction. So you can see that this is the second reaction. And one thing that stands out to me is this kind of the volume spike here. So we have this uh, high level of the supply together with very bearish bar here, and then followed by decreasing of the supply on this bar. And you can see that the spread is actually smaller as well, and followed by a demand tail here. And subsequently we have a rally up and then with this kind of the high supply level, uh, I actually anticipate another test of this swing down. So here come the, the test here. So this is another test. And we have seen this kind of the decreasing type of the volume and followed by a reversal bar here. So I think this is another possible trade, but a bit aggressive. And if you want to look at the level, uh, this is actually the localized level that I will lean on. So we have a kind of like a trading range here. And once we broke out and then come back, back test, and this range actually provides some kind of the support level. And depending how you manage a trade, you probably can catch this swing up here. 
All right, so that's just my view. And let me just get down to the H1 time frame and to take a look at uh, the current development. I think so far uh, we are still in a bullish mood. Um, we just had a, a bullish bar breakout a few hours ago. And yeah, there you go. So currently uh, we just had this kind of the bullish breakout and that is the close here. Okay, so we have a consolidation throughout and just below this resistance level. And just at this bar here, I think um, it was a time there that will be around two o'clock my time here. So about two o'clock and we just uh, seen this breakout bar. So I think um, it should continue to uh, trend higher. And the immediate target that I'm looking at is definitely at around 3300 or 3310 level. So it's on this line here. So if it can just continue to trend higher, definitely I think um, we should see this kind of the uh, channel overboard as well, about 3340. Uh, so the target is around uh, 3310 to 3340. I think that's uh, pretty much uh, coincides with the uh, channel overbought overthrow. And for the immediate uh, resistance level, yeah, that definitely uh, this is a target. So for the support level, I'm looking at, um, let me just use auto and then delete this. Okay, for the support level, I am actually looking at uh, 3270, somewhere around there. So that's definitely this swing high level. And this should provide the first level of defense. If uh, this cannot hold, then definitely uh, another level to watch is still back to uh, the 3230 level. But um, before that, I think um, this breakout bar could be tested as well. So depending how you actually develop. Um, for the potential trade setup, I'm uh, anticipating some kind of the test of this uh, breakout bar. So that could be uh, a retracement back to around 3265 to 3273. Maybe you will do something like this. Uh, back test with a continuation bounce up and then to trend higher. So I think this could be quite a long, nice long entry. So, so far I'll talk about this uh, potential setup, key levels and yeah, for the bias for day trading today, definitely bullish. And for long term, uh, definitely still bullish because uh, it's well, almost uh, reaching all time high. So uh, I think this is the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed it and get something out from this video, just click like and also hover it to my uh, name or picture to follow me. Do remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get instant notification of my future video ideas. As usual, if you have any kind of the comments, suggestions or trade ideas you'd like me to have a look or share with me, feel free to comment it below. I will re reply to you. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.